Y'all, so it is Thursday, January 25th, and I am just sitting here trying to will myself to pick up the selection. It's over here. I know I should probably just DNF the damn book, but uh, I just want to read it. I don't know. It's it's kind of addicting. Like, I kind of want to know what happens. And I really am hoping that there's, like, that maybe America, like, stands up. She's already done some stuff that I'm pretty proud of her for. Like, she, she like, said her feelings of, to Prince Max and how she feels about the place like it's a cage and said that she thinks it's kind of, like, disgusting that he wants to date 35 women and like she she said her her piece about some things so I'm actually pretty proud of her for that um and Prince Maxon doesn't seem dreadful I don't know how I feel about him yet though he seems okay he allowed her to go into the garden which I guess that was nice of him but I don't know I don't know we'll see I'm trying to think positive today about this book because yesterday I was in a mood and I just was willing to just, <laughs> I wasn't in a mood. I just like, I, I don't, I don't think it would have mattered how good I felt or bad I felt yesterday. That stuff is just annoying any day. Like the stuff I read to y'all in those passages was just annoying. I say annoying a lot. Y'all could make a drinking game out of that if you want to, if you're of age, of course. <laughs> so... <clears throat> yeah, but I'm gonna keep reading and I'll give y'all an update and let y'all know what I think. There's still possibility that I could DNF it and I'm totally for DNFing books, but for some reason it's like I just really want to like finish it because it's short, you know, like it's a short book. It's really little and it, it it's quick read, so I feel like it won't take me too long to read it, so I'm not like gonna be angry if I read the whole book and hate it so we'll see the real question is after I'm finished with this book am I gonna buy the rest of the series so far no I'm not but we'll see so I will talk to you guys later hey y'all so okay I'm on page 182 of the selection and I'm actually starting to kind of like it a little bit which is shocking because it's doing what I wanted it to do this main character America has stood up to a lot of the issues at hand and it turns out that Prince Maxim or Maxim is um like actually really nice and he did not know that the people who were telling the women like don't refuse him if he asks you to do anything for him or to him he didn't realize they were asking him that and he was like humiliated and angry and I guess he like tried to fix that so that made me happy and like he is okay with America's little you know she kind of had a little panic attack the first time she met him and she yelled at him and stuff and she's actually like kicked him in the balls which was hilarious by the way and he kind of like he just reacted well to it which I was surprised with so I'm actually starting to like it, and I like Prince Maxim, and I like America, and they're kind of cute together. And yeah, so I'm, I'm not too mad at it anymore, considering, I was just going to be mad if it was just like this thing about women just basically submitting to whatever Prince Maxim did, and so far America has not been like that, which I like. I still feel like there's a lot of like female comparisons and like judging girls for how they dress or how much makeup they wear or how big their boobs are. Like honestly, it's ridiculous. That part still is really bothering me, but it's actually getting a little bit more entertaining. It is very, very cheesy and this is definitely dedicated or meant for a younger audience, but it's kind of, I, don't, I can't explain how I feel about it. It's like not great, but it's kind of like an addicting series like it's not good but it's addicting like I, I want to know what happens so yeah I'm kind of confused but but I'm just glad that America is a strong woman and she's not letting anything 
get to her and she's standing up to herself. She's yelled at Prince Max a couple times, kicked him in the balls. It's all good. So, and he's very sweet to her and he's sweet to a lot of them. So I like him as well. I think I've already said that. I'm repeating myself. So I should probably shut up and continue reading. But um, yeah, so. Oh, and I don't know if anybody cares, but I just got back from a walk and I listened to the audiobook for this for like two chapters. And yeah, the audiobook is not good though. The narrator sounds like a robot. So I was kind of like, I don't know, it was not the best audiobook, but I'm just going to physically read it the rest of the way. But I should be able to finish this soon. And I'll let you guys know my final thoughts and what book I decide to pick up next because I am definitely excited to pick up another book. But I'm, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to buy the next book in this series. I'm not like in a rush to do so, but I don't know. It's just like, I can't explain it. I need to quit talking. Okay, I'll see you guys later. So I just finished the selection by Kira Cass. I gave it a three out of five stars and I'm still not sure if I'll lower that rating. So, okay. I kind of have conflicting feelings about this book. It ended up being fairly enjoyable and intriguing, and I am curious to see what happens with this, but I don't know if I'm curious enough to buy the whole series and read what happens, or if I'm just a little curious and I'm willing to Google it. So, but I have, I have so many problems with this book, honestly, and it's just like, just a lot of stuff. Like I, I asked myself, I was like, would you honestly, if you had like a kid or daughter, would you be comfortable with her reading this at eight, 12 years old? And honestly, I wouldn't be. And I don't, I don't even know. I like have her read it eventually, but before she read it, I need her to tell me that she knows that she's worth a lot, a lot more. She, that she's doesn't need to fight for a man's heart or a woman, whoever she decides that she loves. I don't care as long as she's happy but she does not ever need to fight to be somebody's number one woman or whatever, number one person, because that's just ridiculous. And I just, I, I, I don't know. I just am not comfortable with that. Like, she just, like, I, I don't, I don't know. And I just was also infuriated because, so this is a, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but if anybody cares, um, this might be a spoiler. So if you don't want to watch this, don't. Um, but... Aspen, which was her first boyfriend, came about three quarters through the book, came to the castle or the palace, whatever the hell it's called, and he was there and she saw them and they started kissing again. He said she was sorry and explained himself and all of that, blah, blah, blah. And then they kiss and stuff and America starts feeling guilty. And I, I got very irritated with that. And I was like, why do you feel guilty when literally during you and Maxon's relationship, he's had 34 other girlfriends that he's kissed, taken on dates, done all this stuff with. Why the hell do you feel guilty for making out with your boy you actually love, for one? And it's not that I don't like Maxon. I do like Maxon. But to me, like just the whole concept of her feeling guilty was stupid. And I don't think she should feel guilty at all. I, I just feel like she has no reason to feel bad about it because I mean he's doing the same thing worse even so because he claims he only loves her but he's still keeping five other girls around and I understand why because she's not fully in love with him and she he basically said that if you said you were in love with me now I'd drop everybody else and just choose you but you don't know if you love me yet so I have to keep my options open which I get that but I <laughs> I don't know. There's just, I just have never been comfortable, even with The Bachelor, the TV show, I've never been comfortable with a woman fighting for, or a man, The Bachelorette as well, having to claw their way into someone's heart and fight for their, their love. When to me, if you love someone, that should be just easy enough. You shouldn't have to fight or, or fight it out or whatever. And I, I just like, I don't know. It just seems a, all of it was a little shallow. I still didn't like the hatred and the comparison and the cat fighting with the girls, which was so stupid. Sometimes they'd come together and be fine, but would only last briefly, and then they'd be at each other's throats again. And it's just all kind of, a lot of it really bothered me. And the reason I gave it a three instead of a two or a one was because I did actually find it enjoyable at one point. The first half was utterly ridiculous. Like, I couldn't even handle it almost, and I almost put it down. But the second half got better as I started to get to know Maxon a little more. He he was very nice and kind, and he actually was not aware of the rules that they were stating. And I guess he got really angry and said 
to tell the girls that he would not they could refuse him and that that was ridiculous and everything so that I was happy with America also stood up for herself a lot she defended the maids and is friends with them even though they're supposed to be beneath her which she thinks is ridiculous and so do I she's kind to basically everyone which I appreciated and everything so there are certain parts of the book that are admirable and that I will give credit to but there's also so many things about it that I just think is dangerous for teenage girls or teenage boys to read um like because like you're already so insecure when you're like 12 and 13 and you're learning you're trying to figure out who you are those are your formative years you're figuring out what's right and wrong and just to get that kind of information to say oh hey it's cool to fight with 34 other women to try to get a man no it's not so <laughs> yeah um I just I don't know it's just not something like I was just telling my mom I was like I'm like don't think you would have let me read this when I was 12 or 13 I think it'd have been like let's wait a little longer until you're more developed and more mature and you could handle something like that and know that that's not the right way to be in a relationship or whatnot so I mean I, I get that sometimes you have to fight for your relationship and there are certain circumstances where I think that's okay but this level of fighting for a relationship is kind of ridiculous and there it, I mean I could honestly go on and on about it I have a review in Goodreads where I talk about it more but um yeah so but I could honestly talk about this for hours but yeah it was enjoyable I still don't know if I'm going to continue with the series I don't think I'm going to right now because I'm just not dying to pick up the next book and if I want to know who she ends up with I can just honestly look it up on Google so I might just do that because I do want to know but another reason I want to pick it up and this is the sole basically the sole reason because like I said I can just google who she ends up with I want to see her relationship with her and the queen the queen is very interesting to me Maxon's mother and I want to know more about her and she's very intriguing to me as a character and her family so I really really genuinely want to know more about her and also this whole rebel business I'm curious about that too so there's other things that I'm far more interested in than this love triangle which y'all know I hate love triangles so I'm not really interested in that to be honest with you I'm interested in some other things in the book so we'll see but that is it for today's vlog I'm gonna try to find something else to read tonight and start tomorrow's vlog but I will see you guys later